Now here at County Deer Stalking, it's unusual that we devote an entire film to just one product. That was until Swarovski Optic released their innovative new Z8i rifle scope. We're delighted to be amongst the first in the country to take a closer look at this exciting new scope. I'm here with my colleague James Mott and Carl Fletcher from Swarovski Optic, who's going to tell us what is so special about their new rifle scope. Now, Carl, thanks ever so much for joining us. You're welcome. Beautiful summer day Turn here today. <laughs> um, Motti, good to see you as ever. Thanks, Peter. Um, now, we've got a Z8i here in front of us. Now, Carl, tell us a little bit more about it. Okay, so uh, announced in Nuremberg uh, in March of this year, uh, we have four models in the range for the new Z8. Uh, a 1 to 8 by 24. Okay. 1.7 to 13.3 by 42. Right, okay, got that. 2 to 16 by 50 and a 2.3 to 18 to 56. Okay, That's a and, good range. Uh, and what have we got here today? So this is a 2 to 16 to 50. Okay. All of our current range will be on 30 mil tubes. Right, now, now, that, now that's important when you're it's choosing your, your, your rings and mounts. It, it is, I mean, 30 mil is obviously mm. a standard size. Um, we've increased the magnification range yeah. with all four products mm. yeah. and, kept it within and kept it within the 30mm tube. tube. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's great. Now, now what people are going to be really interested to know here is we're well used to the Z4, mm. the Z6. Yeah. You know, I use a Z6 on my, my rifle. I think you do much as well, don't I you? I do, yeah. Um, yeah. Why the Z8? What's, what's in the terminology here? Well, the Z8, the 8 uh, refers to the magnification range, effectively, okay. through, the, through the four products, hence 1 to 8 or 2 to 16. Okay. Um, but at the same time, increasing that magnification, we've also increased light transmission. Okay, now, that, uh, now that's, uh, mm. for anyone that, that stalks yeah. light transmission, really, yeah, yeah. is what it's all about, isn't it? It so, can be. It can so be, you, yes, you yeah. say, I mean, tell mm. us a little bit more about that. What, what sort of increase? So light, light transmission about? on all four products is 93% now, uh, where Z6 is, was 90 or 91, depending okay. on the model. Okay. So, mm. yes, increased brightness. It, it's interesting that Swarovski, when they introduce these new scopes, they seem to be getting better and better, don't they, on the light transmission? It's, uh, at the top end, it's difficult to know exactly where you can keep expanding the product but um, the guys in Absam are very very and, but this, strong this is on one of the side. things you pride yourselves on at Swarovski isn't yeah. it the light yeah. transmission very and similar. and you know I mean guys at home will know that you know if you're stalking at first light or last light light transmission is, is absolutely crucial I don't everything. know about you Motti but yeah. I tend to probably shoot something nine times out of ten in the last perhaps half hour of daylight absolutely yeah you, you know absolutely crucial stuff, it is it is one of the key factors but it's not necessarily all about transmissions because contrast is quite key as well. Okay, so that enables no, yeah, you to separate the, your okay. foreground from the background. Okay, so because I was always taught contrast and, and colour as well. Yes, yeah. So uh, when it comes to species identification as well, certainly over a longer range, if you're using the higher end of the magnification, that can be quite crucial. Okay, so you mentioned other things that are, uh, are unique to the Z8. Yeah, what so, else have we done? Yeah. Well, in the previous uh, model with the Z6, we had illuminated, non illuminated versions. Uh, all Z8s are now illuminated. Okay. The the turret design is more slimline. Okay. For the simple reason that the the battery, which was housed on the Z6 of the top turret, has been moved, so that's okay. now hidden underneath gotcha. the parallax turret. And you and you have here a plus and a minus, so plus you can minus, increase yeah. it because yeah. I I know if you if it's too bright at last light, it can create a bit of a glare, can't yes. So it's yeah. really important that you get that light right down, isn't so it, sometimes? We, we have increased the number of brightness levels, although, to be honest, Z6 have plenty of them. Yeah. Uh, you have a day and night mode as standard. Okay, yeah. fabulous. And and tell us a little bit more about it. What so, other features have we got? Uh, with, the, uh, with the exception of the 1 to 8, which is uh, obviously a lower mag, we have parallax turrets okay. from, from 50 to infinity. And similar to a Z6, there is a click stop uh, on the 100 mark. And that enables you to reset the parallax to, to 100 metres without having to take your eye away from the scope because you can Understood. actually feel it as it goes okay. through. Now tell us a little bit more because you've got your four models in the, in the range. Why have you designed these four models? What are they for exactly? The four models we think will cover pretty much all eventualities with the 1 to 8 uh, obviously driven uh, yeah. game in mind. The 1.7 to 13.3 That's with a new one, flexible reticle system, oh. which is that scope there, will cover both. And obviously <coughs> within, a, within a deer stalking environment, a 2 to 16 or 2.3 to 18 with a bigger objective would be quite yeah. key. So you're, you're covering all bases there really, yeah. aren't you? Okay, so this is the 1.7 to 13.3. It is. Uh, so this has got the, you call it the flex, flex change. Flex change reticle. Yeah. yeah. Um, so let's have a go with that. So 
Uh, so I turn that on and I've got myself uh, a little red dot, yep. which is nice and sharp, which is great. And then to, how, uh, can you remind the, me again how the, do I turn on? The plus on? and minus illumination buttons. Right. You hold those down for five seconds. Okay. And the circle dot. Comes on. Comes on. Yeah, that's very clean. That's great for uh, target acquisition yeah. for the uh, big game. Carl, can I ask you a question on that? Very um, clever. Illuminated reticle. I remember on the Z6 you had a nice little feature whereby when the rifle, I think, was turned into a vertical position, the light switched off. Yes, um, I'm glad you made that point because that system is still in the ZAI <coughs> yeah. as well. I so. mean, that's great because yeah. people worry about the batteries yeah. going flat yeah. in no time. Uh, no. And I, 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 for one, am always forgetting to switch it off. So yeah. Aut know. Automatic switch off is 30 degrees that okay. way and 70 degrees vertically. Gotcha. And the, re okay. the reticle automatically switch okay. off. Okay, so natural positions that you might put it in when yeah. you weren't actually yeah. taking a shot. Yeah, if you're sitting in the high seat, it's laying that way. You put it down in the back of your Land Rover, it's laying that way. Yeah, fabulous. And you're carrying it over your shoulder. Great stuff. Yeah. Okay, so ballistic turrets. For those of you that are unfamiliar with this system, this is something that's really very useful and something that Swarovski do very, very well. Now, Motti, you've got your Sauer 202 here. Now that's fitted have, yeah. with the Z6i, isn't it? Now that's got a it ballistic is. turret on it. Yeah. Um, now, presumably this is a system which you find fairly useful, isn't it? Yeah, I'm a big fan of the uh, ballistic turret. <clears throat> Can you uh, uh, explain to um, viewers, now, what does it actually do? Um, well, essentially, it allows you to uh, zero your, your rifle as normal. Uh, most people do that at 100 yards. Um, and it allows you to, um, using uh, Swarovski's ballistic program, um, you just put in the, uh, the bullet make and the weight. Okay. Um, and it will basically uh, tell you where to drop the rings on at specific distances. So uh, mine, for instance, are set at uh, 200, 250 and 300 yards. Okay. Um, and there's little coloured dots, uh, which is fantastic in low light situations yeah. where it's very difficult to see the increments because I can just literally turn it round. Okay, and, and essentially what this means is that when quick. you turn it on, you can put still aim exactly bang on, can't yep. you? So if you had zeroed it at 100 yep. and you turn that round, then your first dot is what? What do you set that at? Uh, my first start is set at 250. So 250, you can name bang on again. Bang on. By virtue of the yep. fact you've dialed that onto that colour. Yeah, and it is uh, dead accurate. I've, okay. I've used this for many years, and uh, it's it's reliable every time. Okay, because it's it's arranged by your calibre, isn't it? It's also by the bullet weight. Yep. And and other variables, isn't That's it? Right. So it should be absolutely spot on. Yeah, it? no, it is. Now it's, this uh, this impressive. is a I, I think this is a feature which for for stalkers and hunters all all around the world really find it absolutely invaluable isn't it yeah. because you know if you're stalking up in the highlands for example you may be stalking out to 250 yards even, yeah. even further on occasions if you have to dispatch an injured animal That's and right. rather than thinking about the holdover I mean a two this is a 243 isn't it yeah so rather than having to think well a foot high or something like that you yeah. can just dial that in can't yeah. you yeah, yeah. Now, it's not so useful you know for the woodland stalker you know shooting it 60 to 80 yards sure uh, but this does you know um, I shoot in a variety of situations yeah and uh, just means that the scope is uh, you know very versatile whenever you have to start thinking about bullet drop effectively isn't it that's right Carl the Z8 must have this it does it does but there have been a number of changes okay so the ballistic turret system is now uh, part of an accessory system okay. um, and can be added onto the scope at, at any date uh, you, you may well purchase a purchase scope in six or eight months later down the line, decide you want a ballistic turret system. Okay. Previously with the Z6 we had models with or without, yep. and you had to choose at the time of purchase. Right. Now this now this can be uh, added on at a later date. It's a very, very simple and straightforward system. Just by simply unscrewing the, uh, the, the, the turret cap, the ballistic turret clicks Just straight, snaps on, quite straight on, on into yep. place. Yeah. It's very quick it, and easy. It requires quite a bit of pressure to get it off, mm. so it's not the, a sort of system. I, that's you going know, to fall this is interesting. Isn't it? You don't want to be this dropping off in the field, do you? No, so, so no. how do you release that? Release it. Nice Swarovski pen, of course. <laughs> <laughs> By pushing hard down in there, that actually releases it. Yeah. Right. Releases so, no chance of that release. just dropping mm. off. No. Is no. And does that? And the, the this turret, you you fitted it on the um, on the elevation there. Um, yes. uh, is there one for the windage as well? So or? the yes, yeah, so the, the the ballistic turret system is supplied with a variety of rings. Um, we've increased the number of rings on the turret. So where the Z6 has three marked rings, we now yep. have four on here, which effectively gives you five distances if you're okay. including your hundred yard zero. Yeah. Right. 
Um, it's also supplied with a, uh, a click stop marker. So one single ring, which has 70 increments. Okay, right. There are uh, 70 clicks mm -hmm. on this scope, mm -hmm. one centimeter per 100 meters elevation per okay, click. Okay, understood. But also, uh, quite a unique system is that it can actually be used uh, as a windage turret. So mm. by dropping that turret cap off, here's one I made earlier. So this actually just clicks onto the side. Okay. Right. So supplied, as I say, in the box okay. is a windage ring as well, which right. gives you, giving you 35 clicks left or right. Okay. So, you, so you basically you just buy the one turret that has three different options, yeah. so you can either fit it on can, the top or on be, the yes. side. Yeah, it can be used as elevation, okay. can be used as windage, or there's also the alternative to have both. With two turrets. This is, this is great stuff, and I understand the uh, Z8 has also got a couple of other accessories, am I right? Indeed, yeah. Well, we've uh, we've quite recently upgraded the flip covers. Okay. Um, so they, they now have a, a double magnet system inside. Okay. Which is okay. much quieter. Okay. And has a more positive lock to them, so that's on, on, on every objective and also on the rear cover as well. And we've also quite recently introduced a, a throw you know, lever. I, I quite like this throw lever, actually. I've yeah. got to be honest. It's uh, it's very intuitive, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's quick acquisition, particularly if you are out of cold or even happily wearing gloves. Yeah. yeah. Um, this will work on previous models. It will work on X5, Z6, okay. Z4, right, uh, and Z6 Gen ones as well. Great stuff. So that's it for this month, and I'm pleased to say that the rain has finally stopped. Our thanks to Good. Carl from Swarovski Optic for okay. joining us today. At County Deer Stalking, we're proud to be a premium dealer of Swarovski products. If you'd like to get your hands on a Z8i or any of the range of Swarovski products, then contact County Deer Stalking for details on 0208 239 7311 or email info at countydeerstalking.co.uk.